Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee with Recyclico. I'm your host, Laura, here with Richard Sadowski, Interim CEO from Recyclico. Thanks for joining me today, Richard. How are you doing? I'm good, Laura. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. So a few days ago, the California State Assembly Committee on Appropriations approved proposed legislation to ensure responsible end-of-life recycling of EV batteries sold in California. Does this action provide any benefit to Recyclico? Well, it's uh, that's actually a pretty complicated question. First, it's a good idea to understand the regulatory framework here. Recycling does not necessarily present itself as the most economic choice for a battery manufacturer or supplier or an electric car company. If you have, for example, you buy $1,000 worth of material and you have an 80% success rate and you've got now $200 basically worth of materials that's lost, the only reason recycling would make sense is if you could recycle it for less than $200. And it gets further complicated because if the minerals that are included in that drop in price, it's even cheaper to just go out and buy new stuff. Similarly, uh, if you're talking about an end-of-life battery, one that's no longer any good to anybody, why in the world would a battery manufacturer even want to take it back? There isn't an, a compelling reason to do that unless, and this is the key point, unless it is cheaper to recycle that dead battery than it is to just buy the materials for a new one. And since the price of materials fluctuates wildly, the whether or not it's cheaper on any given day is going to change. What those of us in the recycling business have come to understand is that if recycling is mandated, then there is a compelling case to recycle. Once a, once a manufacturer is told, you must do this, then it doesn't matter that recycling may not be as cheap as smelting or, uh, or just throwing it away and dumping stuff in the landfill. This is what they have to do as a cost of doing business. And it becomes a very different business case. Obviously, we would like that to happen sooner rather than later. Just to give you a sense, the California legislation was introduced in February of 23. The committee action was last week. And there still needs to be two floor votes, one in the Assembly, one in the Senate, and Governor Newsom has to sign it before it becomes law. All of this means that this is not a fast track bit of legislation. This is something that's going to take a while. And similarly, things are going to take a while elsewhere. At the same time, there is a good deal of uh, case for optimism here. The first is that California is saying that battery suppliers and manufacturers have to supply to consumers the opportunity to recycle their batteries. That means not that they have to recycle them in California, only that a California resident has to be able to bring it someplace and get the battery recycled. That means that depending on where we are by way of convenience, we might be able to set up facilities that could uh, benefit from that. The other thing is that California historically has created floors for environmental activity for the rest of the country and the rest of the United States and for North America generally. For example, California adopted more stringent auto emission standards than the US EPA, and the entire audio and auto industry just said, okay, we'll do that. And it is not impossible that the same thing would happen here. So this could very well be the beginning of something that would be very beneficial to our business prospects. And I am I'm encouraged by it, but I, you know, let's wait and see. Let's make sure that the legislature actually passes it, that the governor actually signs it. And that they act, and that they give some uh, teeth to the enforcement. Uh, you know, it, it only speaks to end of life batteries, and the life of a of an EV battery is very, very long these days. So uh, we'll see. But it is uh, it is something that I am uh, that we are following, and that I am pleased about. Assuming the legislation becomes the law in California, would Recyclico become eligible for grants or other development funds? No, not uh, by the virtue of this bill becoming law. One of the things that I think is not well understood about Recyclico, and I think it's important that we keep it in mind, is that for many, many years, we have not actually done the recycling work. We have contracted it out. We have used our good friends at Cometco uh, to do uh, testing and recycling work, but we have not actually used our own employees to engage in recycling activities. It, as it happens, that makes you ineligible for government grants, both in Canada and the US. No one is going to pay us to start a business. They may pay us to expand it, but they won't pay us to start it. 
one of the things that we are going to be doing, and I'm hoping to be able to make an announcement next week, we are in, in an active search to bring in uh, hydrometallurgical uh, chemists and engineers with the idea that we can do testing in-house, that we can design plant facilities in-house, and that eventually we grow that so that we are doing our own recycling using our own employees. At that point, we get very aggressive on the hunt for uh, for grant money. And, I would, and I'm hoping that we will be able to get lots of it because we do have a uh, process that just about everybody that's ever looked at it says is exciting and probably better than anything else that's currently available. But we need to be able to be doing it in order to take advantage of that. As for California, I'm not sure why they would give anybody any money. What they did for auto emissions was they said to the auto manufacturers, build your cars better and then, then you can sell them here. Same thing, I suspect, with, with battery manufacturers and uh, suppliers. Provide recycling and then you can sell here without any cost to the state of California. That being said, I have no doubt that California will be very happy to provide support for recyclers in California, providing jobs to Californians and adding to the, Cal the state of California's tax base. And we may have to see whether or not it makes sense to start some operations there and take advantage of that. Certainly nothing in the legislation does that for us. Mm -hmm. It was a pleasure having you on our show today, Richard. Well, it's, it's nice to be here. I mean, and I think everybody needs to understand that development of a regulatory framework for recycling has gone a lot slower than anyone might have uh, reasonably expected, given the environmental benefits that could come of it. But things are moving along and we are hoping to take advantage of them. Sounds like an exciting future for sure. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you, Laura. Appreciate talking to you. That was Richard Sadowski, Interim CEO from RecycleCo. I'm your host, Laura. Catch you next week.